Hey, happy people, it's Petey here again. Look at this, the sun's shining, the fish are being caught. You can smell the snags on the barbie, it's fantastic here. The Hughes Creek, just near Avenal, the carp fishing circus. Well, it's not just carp, it's all about, well, I'll tell you what, I don't need to tell you what it's all about. How about we talk to the lady who did most of the organising, Christine Glassford. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. So can you tell me a bit more about, about why we're doing this, apart from having fun? Well, fun is the priority here, but we want to also convey information about Macquarie perch. They're a threatened species. In fact, they're nationally endangered, and the Macquarie perch are still present on the Hughes Creek. If we can catch carp and reduce their impacts on the Macquarie perch, that's all better for them. Yes, we've got Keith Bell here with us today and he'll show us how to prepare and cook the carp. We'd love people just to get involved and even if they don't want to eat it, think of them as a recreational sporting fish that are just fun to pull out of the water. Well, I'm game if you are. We're going to try a bit of carp? I'm definitely going to try some carp. I'm here with Keith Bell and he is managing so far today to convince all these naysayers that carp is not only edible but in fact delicious. I just had some. We're educating the juniors, the younger people, of what to respect in life and carp is one of the things to respect not in the water but on the land and how to prepare it into a good meal as long as they look after it when they catch it. And as soon as you catch that fish you put it on the ice slurry while it's alive. Just shave the fillet off the rib cage. That part there is dehydrated and it's made into a product called Izzy Glass. Izzy Glass is a flocculant agent that's used in the wine industry. Skin goes to a company in Western Australia who then tan it and make it into that skin product. So Keith over here has been cooking up a storm with the carp. The rotary guys over there, guys and gals, they've been absolutely going nuts with the old barbie. They reckon that the dirty stinking carp's not going to be their cup of tea. How about we try it out, Rachel? Well, I reckon. How are they going to resist that? That looks sensational. I'm going to spring this on them now. Let's go. Here we go, bit of carp. Well, I'm game enough, though. Oh, okay. Kebab. The carp kebab. What form was that? I'm going in, I'm going in. Come and have a piece of carp. Oh, yeah, I'm It's not too bad at all. I'll have another one. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad, is it? All right. That is not bad at all. Well, Goulburn Broker Water Watch, we do water quality testing around the Goulburn Broken catchment, but we do a lot of work with the Catchment Management Authority. So this work that we've been doing with the macro invertebrates, specifically in the Hughes Creek region, is to do with the Macquarie perch habitat. So we actually survey the bugs to see what we can find and different bugs have different sensitivity ratings. So depending on what we find, it can tell us the health of the waterway. And everything's interconnected. So we need the water bugs to support the fish and we need the, the vegetation on the banks to provide the habitat. So it's not any, even ever one component, which is why it's really about partnerships. It's partnership in the environment and it's a partnership for us to make it happen as well. The Arthur Isler Institute for Environmental Research is the state government's biodiversity research institute. So we help gather data that helps us make better decisions about how to manage the biodiversity of Victoria. I take off my Maca hat for a minute and put on my red fin hat. And when I'm being a red So we were playing a game in which kids got to role play different fish. So some of them were native fish and some of them were the alien invasion. So the native fish had to protect their eggs from the aliens coming to steal the eggs and nip them and basically be annoying. And they get a real sense of the threats to native fish. Oh, they were having a ball and they were learning so much doing it. All right, folks, we're here with Graham from Turtles Australia. Uh, do you want to just tell us exactly why you're here today with this beautiful lady? Yeah, um, we're here to, to, to raise awareness of the, the turtle's plight. They're um, really struggling in the wild. Foxes are predating their nests, taking over 96% of the eggs. And this is a huge problem and it's just unsustainable at this time. It, if it does, nothing changes, the, our turtle populations will become extinct. The broadshell turtle is our biggest long neck turtle in Australia. This one's only a baby still. It could still grow to be uh, 48 centimetres long. Would the there shell. be many of those around? No, these ones are actually endangered in Victoria. Throwing that thing is, um, when you work off a, a bigger, bigger piece of rock material like that, and you knock smaller pieces off to make tools. And um, here's a few, few little blades and, and, and stuff that I've, I've collected off um, the Dalatot River. You'll, um, you'll gut a kangaroo. So like that there is a, a blade that I took off this morning.
It looks like we got a big one here. We got a, a big catch. Let's see what this. Oh, here we go. Three, two, eight, seven. Did you get that? No, we're gonna eat. That's not a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> and they say that having worms is a bad thing. Look what it did for Alan. The fish, the crowd, you, you gotta be happy. I'm, I'm very happy with the results actually. It looks like everyone's had a great time. Everyone's been out there giving it a giving the fishing a go. Um, lots of snags eaten, lots of kids happy with face painted. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone's been pretty happy today. So remember guys, look after our waterways. It's up to you, it's your responsibility. For more information, just go to this website.